Hello et bienvenue à notre septième épisode de Pommes Frites. Hello and welcome to our seventh episode of French Fries. Today we'll be looking at fashion accessories. Said in French as les accessoires de mood. It's my pleasure to bring you this episode. And without further ado, let's jump into our structure of the lesson for today. Donc pour structure de la leçon aujourd'hui, we have notre astuce du jour comme d'habitude. We'll have our tip of the day and then we'll look at our vocabulary which is les accessoires de mood. On va commencer avec notre astuce du jour pour un petit astuce pour aider avec le français. Some spices here and there every day to, you know, elevate the taste of that French and get it tasting top notch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that kind of stuff. And yeah, nous avons notre vocabulaire, les accessoires de mood, fashion accessories. Let's go straight to astuce du jour. So, astuce du jour, we have pauvre de, pauvre de. So, you want to say, oh, poor this guy, poor that guy, poor you, poor me, poor that guy over there. Yeah. So, your secret sauce is pauvre de. And you can add all the mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, whatever you like, and Bob's your uncle. So, yes, that's the tip of the day. Pauvre de, pour, da da da. So, you want to say, poor you, pauvre de toi. Pour me, pauvre de moi, pour him, pauvre de lui, pour Andrew, pauvre de Andrew. You get it? Simple and short. Les astuces, oh, ça c'est quoi? Les accessoires de mode. Voilà. So, sunglasses, les lunettes de soleil. Les lunettes de soleil. Les lunettes de soleil. These are sunglasses. Sunglasses. And I think the, the episode concerning clothing, we looked at lunettes. We know that lunettes is in. So, yeah. Un collier. Un collier. Un collier. Un collier. So, un collier means necklace, as the picture pretty clearly describes. Un collier, necklace. Un bracelet. Un bracelet. Un bracelet. That means bangles. Beautiful bangles we can see in the picture over here, in French, called un bracelet. So, earrings, les boucles d'oreilles. Oreille means ear. I think, yeah, we'll have to do part of the body in the next episode. Uh, that would be really nice. I think I'll note that down somewhere. But, les boucles d'oreilles. Les boucles d'oreilles. So, that means earrings. Now, for Adjective use purposes for grammar purposes, it's important to know that it's une boucle. Une boucle. Voilà. Ring. Une ou la bague. 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 Une bague. La bague. A necktie, une cravate, une cravate, une cravate, 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 une cravate. A bow tie. Un nœud papillon. Un nœud. Nœud. Okay, so over here, the pronunciation... Oh, perhaps I, I should put this tip in. Look, for the pronunciation, what I find really helps is imitating the shape of the mouth of the speaker. Absurd as it sounds... I can guarantee that it does work wonders. So if you're having problems getting the, out the sound like I do, you might want to imitate the shape of my lips 
And that might just be the thing that tips the balance in your favor. So it goes like this. Un, ne, pas, pillon. The O-N is in the nose. Papillon. Un, ne, ne, papillon. Ne stands for tie or knot. Ne stands for knot. And you see this O-E together thing. When it comes to words like, uh, meat, for, for example, beef in French, le bœuf. Oh, no, that's a, a bull, a bull. That's the, a male, a bull. That is the opposite of a cow, which is the female. Voila. So, un nœud. You see that in something like egg too, un nœud. The O-E is together. It's really important that you know that. So, yeah, un nœud papillon. A belt. La ceinture. La ceinture. La ceinture. La ceinture. Suspenders. Les bretelles. Les bretelles. Les Bretelles. Gloves. Les gants. Les gants. The A N T S. First of all, the T is not pronounced. The S is not pronounced. Second. Now, the on sound is nasalized. Les gants. On. Gant. Les gants. Voilà. Earmuffs. Les protège oreilles. Let's break this down. Protège. Protège. Oreille. We've already seen oreille and boucle d'oreille when for earrings. This is not boucle d'oreille, this is protège oreille. And we'll come to what that means in a minute. Protège. Protège. Oreille. Oreille. Now, earmuffs are worn to protect the ears in winter when it's snowing and it's cold and you don't want your ears to become Sorry, I didn't add that. Don't mind me. Okay, don't mind me reading. Yeah, so, so people wear earmuffs in the winter to protect their ears from, to make, to keep their ears warm. Voilà. So the word protège there stands for protect. So it's, if you were to translate that into English directly, it's ear protector, sort of. Just like your phone has a screen protector to prevent it from breaking, you have ear protectors to prevent them from freezing to really levels. In English, we call them earmuffs. E-A-R-M-U-F-F-S. Voilà. A handbag. Un sac à main. Un sac à main. Sac. Which stands for bag, by the way. Sac a ma. Another nasalized sound. Un. Sac a ma. So, guys, uh, we've come to the end of this video. We just saw fashion accessories or clothing accessories said in French as les accessoires de mode. Uh, as always, I appreciate uh, your, com your comments and questions. I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Uh, drop them in the comment section below or send an email. It would be my pleasure to hear what it is you have to say and then uh, give a response. Uh, I have nothing else to say here. The lessons come to an end. So I'll say what I usually say, which is 
bye bye ciao arrivederci